A longtime pastor is stepping away from his leadership role at a Dallas megachurch, alluding to a form of moral failure. Dr. Tony Evans has been the lead pastor at Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship Church for more than 40 years. He informed the congregation of more than 10,000 members during Sunday service. The rise of megachurches in contemporary American society represents a significant shift in religious practice, reflecting broader cultural, social, and economic changes. Megachurches, typically defined as Protestant Christian congregations with a weekly attendance of 2,000 or more, have grown exponentially since the mid-20th century. This growth can be attributed to various factors, including changes in religious affiliation, the appeal of charismatic leadership, and the adoption of modern marketing and media strategies. The recent resignation of Tony Evans from Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship of CPF in Dallas, Texas due to a sin he committed several years ago serves as a poignant case study to explore these dynamics and their implications for the future of American Christianity. Charismatic leadership is another critical factor in the success of megachurches. Leaders like Tony Evans are often dynamic speakers with a strong personal appeal, capable of drawing large audiences through their compelling sermons and public personas. These leaders frequently become the face of their churches, their influence extending beyond their congregations through books, radio programs, television broadcasts, and social media. Evans, for instance, is widely known for his radio broadcast, The Alternative with Dr. Tony Evans, which reaches a global audience. His ability to communicate complex theological concepts in an accessible and engaging manner has been a significant factor in the growth of Akpi. However, the rise of megachurches is not without its challenges and controversies. The resignation of Tony Evans from OCPF highlights some of the inherent tensions within these large religious institutions. Evans' decision to step down due to a sin, committed several years ago while not disclosing the specifics, underscores the high morale and ethical standards to which religious leaders are held. In his announcement, Evans emphasized the need for repentance and restoration, applying the same biblical principles to himself that he has preached to others. This incident reflects the broader issue of accountability within megachurches, where leaders are often placed on a pedestal and their actions are scrutinized by both their congregants and the public. Now, uh, Pastor Evans didn't specify how long that process will last, but told his congregation church elders will provide more details about interim leadership. The response of the Akiev congregation and its leadership to Evans' resignation also sheds light on the processes of governance and accountability within megachurches. The church's elder board, in accordance with scriptural principles, made the difficult decision to accept Evans' resignation and establish a process for his spiritual recovery and healing. This decision was made after extensive prayer and sea consultation, reflecting the importance of collective discernment and accountability in maintaining the integrity and the integrity of religious institutions. The transition of leadership to Reverend Bobby Gibson and the continued operation of church programs, despite Evans' absence, illustrate the resilience and adaptability of megachurches in times of crisis. The influence of megachurches extends beyond their immediate congregations, impacting broader societal and cultural trends. Megachurches often serve as social and political hubs, where congregants can engage in community activism and advocacy. Leaders of megachurches, through their extensive media platforms, can shape public discourse on social and moral issues. For instance, Tony Evans has been an outspoken advocate on issues such as racial reconciliation, family values, and social justice, using his platform to influence public opinion and policy. Moreover, the economic impact of megachurches is significant. These institutions often operate large campuses with extensive facilities, employing numerous staff and supporting various local businesses. The financial contributions of congregants enable megachurches to fund expansive programs and outreach initiatives, contributing to the social and economic development of their communities. However, this financial power also raises questions about the ethical use of resources and the potential for corruption and abuse. All right, y'all, let's get to the latest as it relates to the Tony Evans story that we have uh, spoken about a couple of days ago. New York Post has now come out and they're reporting on this story. And I just, I think this is very interesting. Maybe I just forgot how famous Tony Evans really is because he's been around pastoring 20 years longer than I've been alive. 
He's been, uh, you know, I think he was what the pastor for the Mavericks, the pastor for the Cowboys. I think um, I was watching a video. It said George Bush pulled up to his church during the election uh, time and George Bush gave his support of Tony Evans. So like Tony Evans is the definition of a celebrity pastor. So this shouldn't surprise me that this is the number one trending story in the United States. But I was still slightly surprised to see that there's this much uh, interest in this story. And I just sense something going on. I don't know if you sense it too, but there's been a lot of churches, a lot of mega churches in the headlines recently. A lot of pastors are falling into sin. And I'm just curious to see where all this goes. Because maybe I just haven't been as aware as I am right now, but I don't remember this many stories of mega church pastors in the news quite like what we're seeing in the past like two, three, four years, you know? The resignation of Tony Evans from Oxy also prompts reflection on the personal and spiritual dimensions of leadership in mega churches. The intense public scrutiny and the pressures of maintaining a large congregation can take a toll on the personal lives of religious leaders. Evans' decision to step down and seek spiritual recovery highlights the importance of self-care and personal integrity for leaders in high-profile positions. It also underscores the need for supportive structures within religious institutions to help leaders navigate the challenges of their roles. Looking to the future, the trajectory of megachurches in American society will likely continue to evolve in response to changing cultural, social, and technological landscapes. The integration of digital technologies will play an increasingly important role in how megachurches operate and engage with their congregants. As megachurches continue to adapt to these changes, they will need to balance the benefits of technological innovation with the preservation of their core spiritual and communal values. Furthermore, the ethical and moral challenges faced by megachurch leaders will remain a critical issue. Ensuring accountability and integrity within these large institutions will require ongoing vigilance and a commitment to transparency and ethical governance. The resignation of Tony Evans serves as a reminder of the importance of upholding biblical principles and the need for continuous self-examination and repentance. In conclusion, the rise of megachurches in contemporary American society reflects broader cultural, social, and economic trends characterized by the blending of religious and secular elements, the appeal of charismatic leadership, and the adoption of modern marketing and media strategies. The resignation of Tony Evans from Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship provides a case study that highlights both the strengths and challenges of these large religious institutions. As megachurches continue to evolve, they will need to navigate the complexities of leadership, accountability, and technological innovation while maintaining their commitment to their core spiritual values. The future of megachurches will depend on their ability to adapt to changing circumstances while staying true to their mission of fostering community, providing spiritual guidance, and promoting social and moral values.